5 8 senior number 12, Lakin Dye. 5 10 freshman number 20, Madison Stoll. 5 6 junior number 22, Sadie Bogus. And please welcome a 5 5 sophomore number 23, Kylie Connor. That's the starting lineup for the Princeton Lady Tigers. And now, under the direction of head coach Jim Justice, here's the starting lineup for the Green Bar East Lady Spartans. Please welcome a 5'10 freshman number 33, Layla Pence. 5'7 sophomore number 5, Caden Stewart. 5'5 junior number 3, Allie Dunford. 5'7", junior, number 25, Brooke Davis. And please welcome a 5'10", junior, number 15, Brooklyn Morgan. That's the starting lineup for the Green Bay's Lady Spartans. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as we honor America with our national anthem. It's all over but the playing now, folks. We thank you so much for joining us here on the Fritz's Pharmacy Spartan Countdown, not just tonight, but all season long. We want to say a hello to those of you listening to us on 93.3 Oldies 93 on Radio Greenbrier Sports, and also a special hello to those of you watching us on the Greenbrier Valley Channel on Roku and Sudlink Channel 5. This promises to be a good one. These two teams met exactly four weeks ago, back on March the 16th. Greenbrier East held on, withstood a 21-0 second half run from Princeton to win that one 66-57. to Sadie Bogus inbounds to Kylie Connor. We are underway. Greenbrier East opens up in that 2-3 zone they've used so much this season. Over the right side wing now to Lauren Parrish, up top again to Bogus. Over to Connor on the left side wing, down in the corner. Feed to the left block, turnaround shot is up and missing for Lake and Die. Offensive rebound, however, for Paris. Paris pulls the ball out to the right corner. Pass inside intended for Lake and Die is knocked loose and stolen by Brooklyn Morgan of the Lady Spartans. First turnover of the night. Here come the Lady Spartans with their first offensive possession. Here's Dumford. Dribble down to the left block. Pass out to Brooke Davis on the left corner. Up top now to Brooklyn or Brooklyn Morgan. That's right. Morgan hands off to Dumford. Dumford fires a three from the right wing. That misses too strong off the back iron. Rebound pulled down by Princeton. Bogus has the ball stolen away by Dumford. Over to Morgan. Morgan launches a shot. She misses. Ball trickles out of bounds. The Lady Spartans keep possession somehow. No contact as Morgan was knocked down with the shot in the right block. It will be Lady Spartan ball. We have played 52 seconds of this game, and it is scoreless. I'm going to disagree with you, Timmy. You said somehow no contact. There was certainly contact, just no whistle. <laughs> I stand corrected. You're exactly right. Here's Morgan with off the inbound ball top of the key. Over to Caden Stewart on the left side wing. Stewart between the circles, passes down in the left corner to Brooke Davis. Davis looks at the bucket, 
Passes up top now to Brooklyn Morgan. Morgan penetrates, kicks out to Davis again. Davis works the left baseline, gets a shot up and draws the foul. Davis will shoot two. First free throws of the night for either team as Maddie Stull picks up the first team foul for the Lady Tigers. Greenbrier East, 13 and five on the 2021 regular season. Princeton, eight and four. Played six less games. First shot for Davis. That misses off the back iron and ricochets to the right. It is no good. 6.51 remaining in period number one. Second shot up coming for Davis, and that misses off the back iron as well. Goes to the same spot, but an offensive rebound is corralled by Caden Stewart. Stewart pulls up a three from the top and drains it. Deep range personified for Caden Stewart, and the Lady Spartans lead it by three, but here comes Princeton in a fast break. They got behind the defense and getting a shot and drawing the foul is Princeton's Lauren Parrish. Parrish will shoot two off the foul from Brooke Davis. Parrish was the leading scorer in the first meeting between these two teams. She had 18 points and five rebounds. Parrish will shoot two. First one is up, and that misses everything. Has not been a foul shooting clinic early on. Awaiting the second shot for Princeton's Lauren Parrish. That misses short as well. Rebound pulled down by Stewart. Stewart on the near side left, breaking the timeline. She turns around, passes to a cutting Brooklyn Morgan, top of the key. Morgan falls over, loses the ball. It's picked off by Sadie Bogus. Bogus driving the floor. She loses the ball out of bounds. Just beneath the basket, it was poked loose by Allie Dumford from behind. Nice hustle from Dumford to prevent an easy fast break layup off the turnover. Princeton keeps possession. Already, Timmy, we're seeing a lot of turnovers, and that was certainly the case in the first game. 28 for Princeton, 24 for Green Bay East in that meeting. The shot from the right block is Kylie Connor. She misses, and it's pulled down by Brooklyn Morgan. Morgan immediately tied up by Lake and Die of the Lady Tigers. Alternating possession will go to the Lady Spartans. Brooke Davis to inbound. 6-12 remaining in the first quarter. The Lady Spartans lead it 3-0. Brooke Davis's inbounds pass is kicked out of bounds by Lake and Die. Brooke to try it again. To continue that point from earlier, both teams like the pressure. Both teams like to try to create offense with their defense. So the team that can take care of the basketball better will likely be the one to come away with a victory. A systematic method of breaking the press for Greenbrier East. Bounce pass to Pence. Pence loses the ball momentarily. She's tied up by Princeton's Maddie Stull. And Princeton gets the ball right back here on a jump ball. That's the other thing the press does, Timmy. Not only creates turnovers in the backcourt, it forces you to make mistakes once you do cross that timeline. Greenbrier East nearly came away with a steal once again. Princeton was able to maintain possession of the ball on the far side left is Sadie Bogus. Down the left corner shot is up for Lake and Die that misses. And we're going to have a foul in the scrum for the loose ball. And it looks like Lake and Die is going to be the perpetrator for the Princeton Lady Tigers. Good job there by Pence. She grabbed that rebound, kept it up high to where Dye couldn't pick it away like she was trying to. All she could do was foul. Dumford to Davis to midcourt to Stewart. Right side pass to Brooklyn Morgan. Morgan on the wing, picks up her, her dribble. Up top now to Allie Dumford. Dumford dribbles left to the left elbow. Out to left corner to Davis. A little give and go back to Dumford. She misses the shot from the left block, however. Rebound, Princeton. Here's Connor at midcourt. Ball is nearly stolen by Dumford. Still dribbling is Kylie Connor on the right side. She hands off to Lauren Parrish. Parrish pulls out between the circles, yo-yos the ball to the right hand, sends it down to the right corner to Connor. Connor works the right baseline, dribbles through, sends the ball up. It's pulled down by Dye, knocked loose from behind by Stewart into the hands of Princeton's Maddie Stoll, and we've got a foul. Three-second call actually going to go against Princeton. Good job by creating pressure inside, which caused the Princeton turnover. And knocking Allie Dumford's pass out of bounds is Princeton's Lake and Dye. Good call, Cam. I'm I stood corrected on the foul call. It was indeed a three seconds. Inbound pass again from Dumford to Morgan. Now to Stewart. Stewart in the double team. She passes left to Dumford. Dumford breaks the timeline. They've got a team advantage here. Princeton gets back on defense, however. Here's Morgan handing off to Stewart on the left side wing. Stewart tartly, tightly guarded by Stull. Stewart dribbles around the horn, loses the ball out of bounds. An unforced error creates another Lady Spartan turnover. Hey, Caden Stewart just trying to do a little too much that time. 
Both teams a little tentative and a little tight here in the first three minutes and change. There are four, it's 4.53 to go in our first period, and we've only seen one score. It is three to nothing, Lady Spartans, as Brooke Davis knocked, knocked a lob pass out of bounds intended at midcourt for Princeton's Kylie Connor. Yeah, we saw a lot of points scored that first meeting, Timmy. So far, not that today. Neither team shooting it particularly well, and both teams giving it away a lot, not leading to a lot of offense. Connor, far, far side left shot is up from the corner for Sadie Bogus. That misses off the back iron. It's pulled down by Dumford. Dumford looking for an outlet. She's at the top of the key now. Over to the left wing to Brooklyn Morgan. Morgan picks up her dribble into the half circle to Pence. Pence dribbles around the right elbow. Bounce pass to Dumford in the right corner. Dumford, pump fake, dribble drive, kick left, back to Pence. Up top again to Dumford. Dumford's pass is knocked out of bounds by Lake and Don. Both teams' virtual mirror images of one another, both offensively and defensively. I think if we were counting deflections, I would have already run out of fingers and toes, Timmy. Well, I can't count after that. Here's Dumford with the ball. Right side wing pass to Stewart. Stewart is tripped. Looks like it's going to be a They're going to get a foul, foul call against Princeton's Kylie Connor. Indeed, and that is three team fouls already on Princeton, so the Lady Tigers will have to be cognizant of that. Dumford looking for an outlet to inbound into the right block. Pass too high for Pence. It's picked off by Princeton's Connor. Connor, top of the key, right elbow. She loses the ball. It's knocked loose by Davis. Picked, stolen by Dumford. Dumford at midcourt. She spins into a double team. The ball stolen right back by Princeton's Bogus. Bogus going down the lane. She scores the layup from the right block. Transition bucket off the turnover. It's a one point game. Greenbrier is three, Princeton two. Inside four minutes to go in this first quarter. Right side wing, here's Stewart. Stewart penetrates. Turnaround shot from the right block that falls in. Shooters roll from the right side. And the Lady Spartans are back up by three. Inbound for Princeton to Connor in the backcourt. Connor sprinting to midcourt. She lobs a pass up. It's volleyballed from Die to Paris. Paris misses the shot from the right block. Rebound, Stewart. Up to Dumford, Dumford at midcourt. It's a fast break up to Pence, and Pence scores with a lay-in. They had a two-on-one and took advantage. The Lady Spartans are up seven to two. And an inbound pass from Connor to Bogus is too high for Bogus out of bounds. And the Lady Spartans take possession once again. They have opened up a five-point lead on the Princeton Lady Tigers with 3.10 to go in this first quarter. Offense for Greenberg East hadn't exactly been a work of art, but it's been miserable for Princeton as they can barely get the ball across midcourt. Anna Shepard checks in for the Lady Spartans. Here's Caden Stewart with the ball top of the key. Right elbow, right block, splits two defenders. Shot is up and misses short. Rebound, stole of Princeton. Up the floor to Bogus. Bogus, right wing, right elbow. Pull up, shot is up and misses short. Rebound pulled in by Pence. Pence to Dumford. Princeton back on defense. Dumford breaks the timeline. Top of the key, inside the half circle, out to Davis, down to Shepard. Shepard with a three ball launched is too strong. Rebound pulled in by Princeton's Autumn Bain. Bain lob pass to midcourt. It's stolen by Pence. Pence wasn't even looking at the ball, Cam. She came away with the steal. It hit her perfect. Dumford over to Stewart. Another deep three, and that misses short. It's out of bounds. Princeton basketball. Cave Stewart shot that one almost from the flame on top of the uh, Spartan there at midcourt. She was way out there. Maddie Stahl dribbling inbound to Bain. Up to midcourt to Paris. Paris, right elbow, right block. She forces a shot up and it's in. Gap is once again close to three. Greenbrier East seven, Princeton four, 205 remaining in quarter number one. Here's Stewart up top, pull up three. That is in and out. Rebound by Princeton. Here's Stahl. Over to Bain, up to midcourt to Paris. Paris, right wing, right block. Between two defenders, shot is up and in. Nice fake left and uh, Euro step left. And it is seven to six. And Princeton with a steal off of Caden Stewart. Die to Bogus. Bogus with the score. And Princeton has gone on a run here, a six nothing run. It is eight to seven Lady Tigers, a minute and a half to go in our first period. Stewart loses the pass, but it looks like the Lady Spartans are going to be bailed out by a kicked ball, Cam. Yeah, that was nearly a turnover, Jimmy, as you said. It just barely went off the foot of Autumn Bain of Princeton. 
Davis inbounds, top of the key to Dumper. Dumper dribbles left, passes right, top of the key once again to Stewart. Stewart dribbles left, around the left elbow, into the left block, and she loses the pumpkin out of bounds. Last touched, however, by the Lady Tigers. Greenbrier East will try again. Dumper to inbound from the left baseline. Six, the call from Coach Jim Justice, and Matt Smith wants to think about it. We'll do it, too. 114 to go in the first. Greenbrier East seven, Princeton eight. Back in 30 seconds, this is Lady Spartan basketball on Oldies 93. All right. Parity, please. Yes, sir. From foundation to finish, S.J. Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to speak with someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk, your home solution.
When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Meathawk Lumber, your home solution. Dumford in the backcourt. Dumford into a double team. Over to Stewart. The pass is knocked loose. Dumford's able to control the ball. She's doubled. Back to Stewart. They got a break at timeline. Stewart up to midcourt to Boswell. Boswell. Pump fake out to Stewart on the right wing. Stewart penetrates over to, to Pence. She misses a shot from the left side. Rebound pulled down by Kaylee Sarver of the Lady Tigers. At midcourt is Kylie Connor. Connor passes left to Reagan Seller. She fires a three and drains it. And Princeton is up 11 to 7, 6.45 to go in the second. Davis to midcourt to Boswell. Boswell up the floor to Pence. Pence scores. Nice fast break. And the foul and count it. Late whistle, but Pence was fouled by while scoring from the right side. She drew contact from Reagan Seller and Pence. We'll have an opportunity at a three-point play here, Cam. The point I was just getting ready to make them completely erased right there. Green Bay East wants the timeline. We're in two minutes of hurry, attacking the basket and making mistakes. And Pence, what a run here. She missed the shot, but immediately tied up the rebounder. They're going to get her for a foul. They are? Yep, they got Pence for a foul there. Her first. Pass is errant of... Princeton's Kaylee Sarver and is stolen by Pence. Up the floor to Boswell. Boswell scores. We're knotted up at 11 apiece. Southers, backcourt. Over the timeline is Lauren Paris. Paris, left elbow, left block. Shot is up and in. And she is part of the defense like the Red Sea there, Cam. Yeah, nobody stopped the ball at all there. She went right to the basket. I'm contesting. Here's Dumper to the fast break. It's a two-on-one. She picks up her dribble up top to Boswell. Over to Stewart. Three ball is up. Three ball misses. Ball is loose. Stewart with an offensive rebound, and she is fouled before she can cut to the basket. Looks like Princeton's Aaliyah Taylor, excuse me, Reagan Southers is going to pick up the foul. And that's that's her second. Is it second or third? Second. 15 foul. So we have played two minutes and two seconds in this second quarter. Greenbrier East trails Princeton 13 to 11. Allie Dumford to inbound from the left baseline. Bounce pass to a cutting Brooke Davis. Davis's shot misses wide. Offensive rebound, Dumford. Out to Stewart, left wing. Half circle to Pence. Right wing to Davis. Davis, dribble drive inside. In the lane, she loses the ball. Saved by Pence. She kicks up top to Stewart. Over to Boswell. Boswell draws the foul. That's Aaliyah Taylor. And Princeton has 16 fouls. They only have one to give and there's still 5.41 to play in the second quarter. Yeah, as aggressive as these two teams play with the pressure, fouls could end up being a factor before this game's over with. Quickly inbounded to Dumford. Over to Davis. Davis looks at the basket, shovels the pass up top to Stewart. Stewart with a three. 
fadeaway that misses. Offensive rebound, Boswell. Boswell out to Stewart. Stewart on the right wing. Stewart penetrates, loses the ball again. Off the leg of Preston's Kaylee Sarver. It, and Stewart has missed five in a row from three-point range. Got to find that shot again. Greenbrier will keep possession. Allie Dumper to inbound. 5.23 to go in this first quarter, or second quarter, excuse me, this first half. Dumford. Floating pass is stolen by Princeton's Autumn Bain. Up to Boggs on the near side right. Boggs wins the three from the right side. That misses. Offensive rebound. Something no good for Kaylee Sarver. Rebound pulled down by Pence. Pence draws the foul and will go to the free throw line. Kaylee Sarver commits the foul, and Layla Pence will shoot a one and one. That is exceptionally big, Cam, as Greenbrier East trails by two, but there's still 5.08 to play in the second quarter. Yeah, it is, but you've got to take advantage of it. So far, neither team has made a free throw. Let's see if Layla Pence can change that. Pence at the line. The good news for Princeton is that all these fouls are coming from different players. And Pence, the ball died off the back iron, but managed to fall in, and... Pence cuts the Princeton lead to one. Princeton has seven fouls from six different players, so only one. Reagan Southers has two. Second shot for Pence. That misses too, too much backspin off the back iron. Pulled down by Autumn Bain. Bain nearly doubled in the back. Of course, she's able to get the ball to midcourt to Sarver. Sarver's pass up the floor is knocked out of bounds by Brooke Davis. Great hustle from Brooke Davis. Doesn't come away with a turnover, but great well, play she, nonetheless. She looked, she looked like a safety in coverage in football. Knocking, breaking up that pass. Autumn Bain to inbound. Bounce pass to a cutting. Lake and Die, Die somehow missed that bunny layup. And you can hear the collective groan. That was from the Princeton fans. Princeton should have been back up by three there as Coach Justice wants a timeout. We'll take it with them. 4.56 to go in the second. It's Princeton 13, Greenbrier East 12. Back with action in 30 seconds. This is Lady Spartan Basketball on Oldies 93. From foundation to finish, S.J. Meat is your home solution. Yes, sir. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to speak with someone who knows, call S.J. Meat your home solution. From foundation to finish, S.J. Meat is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Neehawk Lumber, your home solution. Quarter and the Lady Spartans still trail by one. It is Princeton 13, Greenbrier East 12, but Greenbrier East will have the ball off of a Princeton turnover and uh, if you're a Princeton fan, that's that's the kind of turnover that could come back to haunt you. They had an easy layup off of a defensive lapse by the Lady Spartans, and they missed it, and the ball trickled out of bounds. Here's Dumper breaking the timeline, but Princeton comes over the steal. Here's Parrish. Parrish with the layup and the miss. Offensive rebound pulled in by Die. Die, right corner. And Princeton threw the ball away. It was stolen, and then Greenbrier East gave it right back. That was the point I was going to make a minute ago, Timmy, when you were talking about turnover coming back to haunt you. And the way this game is being played, you just have to shake it off and come right back because there's going to be another one in just a second. No kidding. As I said. <laughs> it was stolen right on cue and then knocked out of bounds by Princeton's Sadie Bogus. Davis will inbound. Princeton going to show that pressure into Dumford. Dumpert in the backcourt. She dribbles around Die. Pass out the floor to Taylor Boswell. Boswell penetrates. Turns her back to the bucket. Out to Dumpert. Dumpert with a three. And that misses wide. Rebound pulled down by Bogus. And Bogus throws the ball away over the head of Lauren Parrish. Lady Spartan ball once again with 4.22 remaining in our second quarter. Big difference early on, Timmy, is Saturday Green Brace was making those three-pointers like the one Dumford just took and the ones that Caden Stewart has taken. They're not going in so far today. Maybe need to find another way to create some offense. Davis, Dumford over to Penn. Inside to Stewart. Stewart, turn around. Posting up, misses. Rebound pulled in by Stull. Stull to Bain. Bain, deed up by Dumford. He has to lob the pass up the floor to Sadie Bogus on the right side wing. In to Die. Die scores in plenty of traffic in the lane. And the Lady Spartans are back, up by, are back down by three. 
Delford in the backcourt over to Davis. Midcourt now to Stewart. Stewart, right wing. Picks up her dribble, floats to Davis. Davis into the half circle to Pence. Pence holding the ball overhead. Pirouettes, hands off to Dumford. Dumford top of the key, over to Boswell, down to Davis, and Davis travels before she can cut to the basket from the left baseline. It will be Wendy Tiger basketball with 3.35 to go in the first half. Baseball pass picked off. It was a tip drill from Davis to Dumford, and Dumford loses the ball off of a Princeton shin. And the Lady Spartans will keep the ball here, 3.30 to go in the second. Dumford to inbound from the left baseline. These inbounds plays, Timmy, that we've seen be so effective over the years haven't produced much for Greenberg East today. Let's see if they can change that here. Overhead pass off the key to Davis, back down to Dumford. Dumford looks at the basket, passes up top to Davis. Davis with a three and drains it. How bad did we need that one from Brooke Davis? We're all tied. Yeah, as you said, big shot from Davis. Greenberg East needed an answer. They found one. Pass floated up the floor to Parrish. Parrish over to Bogus. Hook shot is in. It was a hook shot from the left side just inside the lane. Princeton back up by two. 17 to 15 at the three-minute mark of the second quarter. Davis to Stewart. Stewart right side. Penetrates from the right elbow. Right block shot is up too strong. Rebound. Dumford. Out to Boswell, up to Davis. Davis in the left elbow. Baseball pass to Stewart. Stewart with a three. That misses short. Rebound, Lake and Die of Princeton. Princeton in the backcourt. Pass to midcourt to Bain. Bain breaks the timeline. She's on the near side right now. Bounce pass up top to Die. Die penetrates. Picks out to Bogus from the right side. Bogus with a floater from the baseline. Misses, but she gets her own rebound. Two and a half minutes to go. Spin move by Bogus. Bogus in the right corner now. Guarded tightly by Boswell. Pass is knocked loose and stolen by Davis. Davis' pass is stolen right back by Bogus, however. She misses. Offensive rebound and score for Lake and Die. Princeton back up by four. It is 19 to 15. In transition, here's Stewart. Right elbow, fadeaway shot. That won't go. Rebound knocked loose and out of bounds by Taylor Boswell. Stewart now, Timmy, has missed 10 in a row. Greenberg East has got to find a way to get her maybe an easy one to kind of break that curse and get her confidence going a little bit. You can see she's visibly frustrated. Princeton bounce pass inbound to Autumn Bain in the back court. Bain works her way up the, base, up the sideline, and Dunford pokes the ball loose out of bounds. Signature defensive play there from Allie Dunford. Maddie Stoll to inbound on the near sideline. She does in the backcourt to Autumn Bain. Bain at midcourt. Pass right to Lauren Parrish. Up again to Bain. Overhead pass down to the wing to Porsche. Parrish back up top, excuse me, to Bain. Bain inside feed and a travel by Lake and Dye. It'll be Lady Spartan basketball. They trail by four. Still a minute and a half left in this second quarter. Davis to Dumford. Bounce pass to Stewart. Stewart in the backcourt. Passes over the timeline to Davis. Davis, a runaway freight train. Her shot is partially blocked by Maddie Stoll. Princeton comes away with the rebound. Here's Bogus. Top of the key, pass right to Bain. Bain, right wing. Cross court pass to Bogus. Down to the left corner to Die. Die dribbles through traffic, forces a shot up. It is stripped out of bounds, and it will be Lady Spartan ball with 1.07 to go. Aubrey Glover going to check in here for the Lady Spartans. And she's going to get Brooke Davis. Good move there by Coach Justice. Get her out with a minute left here. Keep her from picking up that third foul in the first half. Looks like Kaylee Sarver is going to check back in for Lake and Die for the Lady Tigers. Glover. Right corner inbound to Dumford. Cross court pass to the near side, left to Boswell. Back to Glover. Glover's pass is stolen by Bain. Ball is knocked loose. Off of Preston, out of bounds. It's almost like a volleyball match out here. It really is. Ball's being tipped all over the place. Glover inbounds to Dumford. We're inside a minute to go in this first half. 
Princeton leads it 19 to 15. Greenbrier East stuck in its own backcourt. Here's Dumford. Pass up to the left wing to Boswell. Bounce pass. Knocked out of bounds by Princeton. That's what I was talking about earlier, Timmy. Greenbrier gets it across half court there and just forces something that's not there. When you make it across half court, if it's not there, attack the rim, back it back out and set up your offense. Stewart will inbound now. Up to the right wing to Boswell. Boswell looks at the bucket, dribbles twice, passes top of the key to Dumford. Dumford loses it momentarily, maintains a grip on the ball, out to Boswell. Boswell loses it, however. It's stolen by Bogus. Bogus, left side, pass right to Sarver. Sarver scores. And Princeton is back up by six. It matches its largest lead of the game. Dumford stuck in the backcourt. She has to pass backward to Stewart. Stewart's pass is tipped. It's picked off by Parrish. Parrish, left wing, left block, shot is up, that misses, rebound Glover. Glover to Dumford, seven seconds left. It's a two on one. Dumford pivots, picks up her dribble. Top of the key to Boswell. Over to Stewart as time expires and she misses it. We are at the break and the Lady Spartans are in a hole they have to dig themselves out of. They trail Princeton 21 to 15. We'll be back after this to break it all down. You are tuned in to the Warner Music School Halftime Show on Oldies 93. From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber, your home solution. <laughs> From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to speak with someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk, your home solution. From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber, your home solutions. From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber Company. From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, Call SJ Nehawk Lumber, your home solutions. <laughs> SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to speak with someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk, your home solution. From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber, your home solutions.
stars may fall, the rains may pour, but I will love you evermore because you were born to chase the light. Since 1947 and for three generations, S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Neathawk Lumber, your home so From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber, your home solutions. From foundation to finish, SJ Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber, your home solution. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Twenty-one, fifteen. Princeton leads Greenbrier East here at the half in a sectional playoff game. Winner moves on to play the winner of Oak Hill and Woodrow Wilson, who are playing right now as we speak. And the story of the first half was turnovers for both teams. Nineteen for. Princeton 17 for Green Bar East. But Princeton was able to turn those 17 turnovers into eight points and got more easy looks at the basket to build up the, the six point lead at the break. Taking a look at the halftime statistics, Green Bar East overall six of 28 from the field, just two of 14 from three point range, and has missed some opportunities at the line as well where they're one and five. Green Bar East also being out rebounded heavily, 25 to 17. Princeton holds an advantage in that category. Leading scorer for the Spartans so far is Layla Pence with five points and four rebounds. She's been matched by Caden Stewart, the Spartans' leading scorer on the season, with five points and four rebounds. But Stewart has struggled shooting the basketball. She's just two of 13 from the field, including one of eight from three-point range. She'll need to find her stroke in the second half if the Spartans are going to get back in this one. Brooke Davis has three points for Greenbury, and Taylor Boswell has two for Princeton. They finished the first half 10 of 26 from the field, 1 of 5 from three-point range. They've also struggled at the line, just two attempts, but they missed both of them. Uh, their big advantage has been rebounds. As they out-rebounded out the Spartans 25 to 17, and that's led to an 18 to 6 advantage in the paint. Leading scorer for the Lady Tigers is Lauren Paris with six points. Uh, she, that's matched by six for Sadie Bogus, who also had four rebounds to go along with those six points. And four points for Lake and Die, three for Reagan Southers, and two for Kaylee Sarvers rounds out the scoring. And that's the tail of the tape here at halftime where Princeton leads Green Bar East 21-15. We'll be back with the second half of the action. You're listening to Lady Spartan Basketball on Odie's 93.
since 1947 and for three generations. S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. From foundation to finish, S.J. Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to speak with someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. Been a couple times I'm clipping, so That's right. just Here just you. just know I'm doing We welcome you folks back. We thank you so much for tonight and all season long tuning in to the Warner Music School halftime show right here on Oldies 93. Timmy Gwynn and Cam Huffman along with you. The Lady Spartans are in a hole, Cam. It's 21 to 15. What do they have to do to crawl back into this one? Well, they're waiting now for Princeton to come out of the locker room as the time is back on the clock, but the officials are out too, but no Princeton so far. But uh, we can already see one move Green Marys is going to make here in the second half is Nate Garrett is coming out on the floor in the starting group. And I, I like that move from Coach Justice. She's, she's provided a spark several times this season, so see if she can do that again. And she's also been big on the boards where Green Bay has been uh, out-rebounded 25-17 to 17 right now, so maybe she can make a difference there. But I think the biggest key for Green Bay is just some shots need to fall. I mean, Caden Stewart missed her last 11 shots. You don't usually see that from her, but she's a, you know she's the key scorer for this team. You're going to have to have her, so she's got to find that stroke so the Spartans are going to get back in it. On the floor for the Lady Spartans, Caden Stewart, Brooke Davis, Allie Dumford, Layla Pence and Nay Garrett as Princeton has rejoined us out on the floor here. And we are waiting to start of this one. Greenbrier East falling back on defense. Looks like Princeton's going to start with the ball and they will be going right to left on, the, on your radio dial the rest of the way. Princeton's the whole starting her team is back on the floor, so they're going to have to start without their now their head coach runs across the floor. The referees held up for him. You don't always see that, especially in a playoff game. Yeah, they're not going to be able to start their starting five. Bogus is going to inbound to Connor at midcourt. We are underway. Greenbrier East showing a two-three zone. Connor over to Bogus on the right side wing. Right, right cor cor uh, corner, excuse me, to Sarver. The assist feed to die. And Princeton back to work here. They're up by eight. And Princeton made hay inside in the first half. They go right back into it in the second half. And Princeton with a steal right back. Bogus to die and die scores. Back to back possessions here. And Princeton has its largest lead of the game. It's 10. Ball nearly stolen again by Princeton. Caden Stewart able to save it. Save it. Stewart forces up a shot going the other way and draws the contact from Princeton's Maddie Stoll. Caden Stewart will shoot two. The shot wouldn't go. Stoll second foul. Hard, hard to believe nobody, only one Princeton player had two fouls in the opening half, as many fouls as they had early. But maybe that'll be the key to the second half. Greenbrace has to find a way to get an offense going. Maybe driving the back at pick, bucket, picking up some fouls is the way to do it. And Stewart quickly, no wasted motion there. She makes both. Brings the Lady Spartans back to within eight. At midcourt is Sarver. Pass over to the left side to Stull. Stull dribble drive, inside shot, won't go. Rebound pulled in by Davis. And Davis picks up a foul. It's going to be a blocking foul on Princeton's Maddie Stull. That's her third, two in a row. As and Timmy, maybe that trip to the foul line, stroking through a couple there for Caden Stewart, is what she'll need to find that shot again. Davis. Sometimes it just takes something little. Sorry, Timmy. No, you're fine. Uh, chest pass to Dumper. Dumper on the far side left. Still behind the timeline. She passes backward. You can't do that. It's picked off by Die. Die to Parrish. Parrish with the score. And Princeton's back up by 10. The Tigers are in all sorts of control over the Lady Spartans here in this second half. Back to Stewart. Up floor to Dumper. Dumper. Right baseline to Pence. Up top to Dumper. Over to Stewart. Deep three from the top. That rattles out. Princeton with the rebound. Picking it up is Sadie Bogus. Pass right to Connor, up the floor, pass picked off by Davis. Over to Garrett, back to Stewart. Stewart over the timeline, into the front court. Top of the key, penetration. Left hook shot is up, won't go. Rebound snatched by Lauren Parrish. 
Harris back court to Connor. Connor top of the key. She swings left. Wide open three for Bogus. That misses wide. Rebound tipped in the hands of Allie Dumford. Moving the ball in transition. Far side left. Brooke Davis half circle. Kick out to Pence. Pence from the right baseline. Swishes it. Back to within eight. It's Princeton 27, Prince, or Greenbrier East 19, inside of six minutes to go in this third period. Pence three for four from the field. She's been accurate tonight. Dribbling inside, getting a shot over Nate Garrett to Sadie Bogus. She misses. Offensive rebound, however, over to Dye. She misses. Scramble for loose ball. It is pulled in by Garrett, and Garrett is tied up. It will be Lady Spartan basketball on the alternating possession here. With 5.40 to go, the Lady Spartans trail it by eight. Brooklyn Morgan back into the game, replaces Nate Garrett. Aaliyah Taylor going to check in now for Princeton. Davis to midcourt to Stewart, over to the left side to Morgan. It's a two-on-one. Morgan to Pence, the shot is blocked. Offensive rebound by Morgan, but the ball is stolen from behind by Aaliyah Taylor. Taylor on a fast break. It's a one-on-three. She loses the ball. Kicks back out. It's stolen again by Morgan. Over to Stewart, to midcourt to Dumford. Up to the right side wing to Davis. Cross court to Stewart. Stewart three from the left and switches it. Greenbrier East back to within five. Greenbrier East needed that one. Stewart needed that one. And Dye steps on the baseline. Off the inbound. A turnover created by Caden Stewart as Lauren Parrish Stepped on the baseline. Green Brady's got a little bit of sauce going here, Cam. Yeah, playing with a little, little bit of desperation, a little sense of desperation. Good to see that. Brooke Davis to inbound. Right baseline to Stewart. Stewart with a three from the right. That misses. Rebound pulled in by Bogus. Bogus, a breakaway. She got by a defender. She's all alone. Layup is in. She just got behind everybody, Cam. Princeton back up by seven. That's the problem with missed threes, Timmy. Sometimes they lead to run outs. And Greenbrier's kind of got away with an over back there. No call from the official. Here's Stewart, top of the key. Penetrates left, kicks left to Davis. Davis with a three of her own, and she makes it. Lady Spurs to within four. Four and a half to go in this third period. Tied up is Autumn Bain. She throws the ball away. It's loose. It's picked up by Bogus. Up the floor to die. Die into two defenders, she forces a shot up out of bounds. And it will be Princeton basketball, last touched by the Lady Spartans. 4.19 to go in the third. Autumn Bain to inbound from the baseline, bounce pass to Bogus. Quick three is up and it rattles out. Offensive rebound by Princeton. Ball's knocked loose and Pence ties up Die, and Princeton will keep possession on the jump ball. Autumn Bain to inbound. Floating inbound to Taylor. Up top to Bogus with a three up. That misses off the back iron. Rebound pulled in by Davis. Up to Dumford. Dumford running the floor, picks up her dribble, and she's stripped at the left elbow, and she is subsequently tied up by Bogus. That would be Greenbrier's ball on the tie up. Missed opportunity there as Dumford and, and Stewart had a two on one. I don't think Stewart went all the way to the basket. I think that's what Dunford was looking for. Stewart pulled off a little short, and they were unable to get her the ball. Kiara Porterfield going to check in here for Princeton, give Lauren Parrish a blow. Allie Dunford to, to trigger the ball. She does so to left block to Davis. Davis forces a shot up, misses. Rebound pulled in by Dye. Dye spreading down the floor. It is a one-on-three. She pulls out into the half circle. Over to Porterfield on the right wing. Cross-court pass to Bogus. Bogus is open. She lets a three go, and that misses. And it hits the top of the backboard. It will be a it will be Greenbrier East ball. Princeton 29, Greenbrier East 25. We're inside the halfway mark of quarter number three. Bogus letting him fly from three-point range. She hasn't had any luck tonight there. Dumford brings the ball up the floor over the timeline into the front court. Dribbles to her right. Passes right into the corner to Davis. Davis's pass is tipped up in the air, stolen by Lake and Dye. Dye at midcourt, running the floor, bounce pass to Bogus. Bogus lay up and in. SMH, Cam. Yeah, Greenberg, he's trying to run a set play that last time down, but sometimes it's not there. You can't force it when the play you're trying to look for isn't there. They did that time. Stewart up top, shot from the right elbow is good, nothing but net. 
Hayden Stewart answers right back. Princeton's lead cut to four. Three minutes exactly in this third quarter clock. Here's Bogus between the circles. Pass up the floor to a cutting. Porterfield. Porterfield forces a shot up. Misses. Rebound by Pence. Pence to Dumford. In the backcourt. Now in the front court between the circles. Top of the key. Half circle. Right block. Shot is up. A kiss off the glass for Layla Pence. It's a two-point game. Pence up to nine points. She's been some of the Spartans' best offense tonight. And Matt Phillips wants a timeout. We'll take it with him. 2.27 to go in the third period. Greenbrier East has cut into the lead. They trail Princeton 31 to 29. We're back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Lady Spartan Basketball on Oldies 93. Since 1947, and for three generations, S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. in an awful hole to begin this third quarter cam. Princeton opened up a 10-point lead. The Lady Spartans have crawled all the way back. They've cut the lead down to two inside two and a half minutes to go in this, this third period. And right now it feels like the momentum is in Greenbrier East corner. And with a, with a steal right in time cam, it's Brooke Davis. Over to Brooklyn Morgan on the far side left. Morgan, left wing. She looks at the bucket, hesitates too long, hands the ball off to Dumford. Dumford penetrates, gets a shot up, that misses short. Ball's tipped in the air, offensive rebound by Dumford. Up top now to Morgan, extra possession here. Morgan penetrates, right elbow, looks at the bucket, pivots, has to get rid of it. Into Pence. Pence, right elbow, to a cutting Josie Patterson who's checked in. Patterson nearly loses the ball off of a not looking Dumford. Back to Brooklyn Morgan, inside of two minutes left in this third period. Morgan hesitates once again. Down to Dumford, out to Patterson. Patterson, left wing. Right wing pass to Morgan. She launches a three. That misses short. Rebound tipped. Picked up. Pulled in by Princeton's Lake and Die. It's a two on one. Die scores with the layup. She goes wire to wire. Yeah, Princeton really looking to push the basketball when they get a rebound, Timmy. They're not wasting any time. And Brooklyn Morgan with a travel. Took three steps before dribbling it in the backcourt, and it will be Princeton ball. They're back up by four, 122 to go. Lakin died inbound. To Connor, down to Taylor. She launches one from downtown in the right corner. It's off the top of the backboard, however. It'll be Lady Spartan basketball. We've got some official questions here. The Green Marines didn't know who was subbing it, or Coach Justice communicated, and the players didn't get it. And Green Bay's got a steal, but missed the basket. Princeton, or Princeton got the steal, missed the basket. And Green Bay East got the rebound, moved the ball up the floor, and they threw the ball away. I was a little late on that description, Cam, but I believe I just about summed it up right. You got it. Here's Connor. Off the inbound for Princeton. She's doubled up in the backcourt. She throws an errant pass. It's picked off by Dumford. Over to Stewart. Down to Patterson. Pass inside to a cutting pinch. She misses the shot. Offensive rebound, Dumford. Half circle to Patterson. Patterson with a shot. That misses off the back iron. Pence with a nice offensive rebound. Out to Dumford. Three ball is up and in. It's a long two. Excuse me. It's a long two. Score cut to within one. Allie Dumford with a shot from the left side. Porterfield in the backcourt. She's stripped. It's a two-on-one. Stewart with the ball. She gets a shot up and draws the foul. Stewart misses the shot as Aaliyah Taylor committed the foul, but Stewart 
will have an opportunity to tie this one up at the charity stripe. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. That's the second on Taylor and the third on Princeton. Zero for Greenbrier East right now. That could play key as we head into this final quarter. Stewart at the charity stripe. First shot is no good. Too much backspin off the front iron, partner. Stewart can still make this a one-point game with this second free throw. Shot is up, and that's good. One-point game, Princeton led by as many as 10. Die with the ball on the far sideline. He's able to kick left to Sarver to a cutting. Parrish, Parrish with the layup and scores from inside the lane. Great ball movement there from Preston. Here's Stewart with 14 seconds left and ball's poked loose out of bounds by Aaliyah Taylor. Greenbrier East will keep possession. Princeton showing full court pressure. It's Princeton 35, Greenbrier East 32. Davis to Stewart, ball is stolen and with the score is Vaugas. And Princeton's back up by five. Six seconds left. Dufford cutting to the basket. Shot is up and it's blocked out of bounds by Parrish with 1.6 seconds left. Greenbrier is just forcing passes, Timmy, that aren't open. Princeton pressure causing all kinds of problems. Stewart. Into Patterson. Patterson with a three as time expires. And it doesn't come close, and that is the end of our third period. After three, it's Princeton 37, Greenbrier is 32. We're back in 60 seconds. You are listening to Lady Spartan Basketball on Oldies 93. Since 1947 and for three generations, S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. From foundation to finish, S.J. Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber, your home solutions. Damn, I don't think I'm going to have any more news to break for you tonight, buddy. Ten, nine, eight. It was a roller coaster of a third period. Princeton came in with the lead. They expanded to uh, as many as 10. The Lady Spartans cut it to one. And then just like that, to close out the fourth quarter, Princeton with a run to push their lead back out to five. It is 37 to 32. Princeton is eight minutes away from advancing to the sectional finals this Thursday night against the winner of Beckley and Oak Hill. Princeton inbounds to start things off here in the fourth quarter. Here's Bogus. Bogus from the right baseline, dribbles all the way through the left. Up top now to Riggin Southers. Bounce pass inside. Parrish with a miss. Gets her in rebound. She forces another shot up. Misses. Rebound pulled in by Davis. Davis is fouled. Parrish with the foul. That is four team fouls on the Lady Tigers. Four to nothing. So that could prove big. Greenberries may be able to cut into this lead at the line if they play it right. Davis to Stewart. Got to take care of the basketball. Back to Davis, to midcourt to Dumford. Dumford, high dribble, she's able to save it. Pass up the floor to Pence, Pence scores. Transition offense led to two for Layla Pence. And Josie Patterson is going to commit the foul. Coach Justice tells her that's okay. And he's it's only the first team foul. Only first team foul, you're down here. Play aggressively if you're Greenbrier East. Got 728 left potentially in the season. Use those fouls. Into the backcourt with the ball is Southers. Up the floor to Bogus on the left side wing. Bogus lets a three go. She was alone. She missed everything. Out of bounds. And Greenbrier East takes possession. We have played 44 seconds of this fourth and final quarter. And Greenbrier East trails by three, it's 37 to 34. Davis's cross court pass is picked off by Parrish. 
Parrish misses the layup from the right side. And Davis was out of bounds, came back in to grab the ball, which you can't do that. You can't be the out of bounds and the first person to touch the ball. So Princeton will keep it. Southers to inbound from the left baseline. She fakes right, passes left into the right corner to Parrish, up top now to Bogus. Seven minutes left, Bogus just standing there between the circles with the ball. They have the lead, they're gonna stretch that clock every possession they can. Yeah, Brigham Murray, he's gonna go man to man. Bogus on the right wing, switching off a pick, over to Parrish. Parrish bounce pass in the half circle to Die. Die turns to the bucket, gets a shot up, misses, rebound Parrish. Parrish, turn around, fade away, shot is up, that misses. Rebound Parrish, or Die, and Die scores from the left block, and Princeton is back up by five. Six and a half to go. That possession took 45 seconds off the clock. Here's Patterson, she looked at the basket and lost the ball. It's picked up, however, by Stewart. Stewart loses the ball out of bounds, last touch by Princeton. Yeah, five point game, time's really not your enemy if you're Green Beret's turnovers are. Protect the basketball. Patterson up top now to Stewart. Stewart right wing. Stewart moves to her right. Shot is up, misses short. Rebound by Princeton's Reagan Southers. Southers to Die over to the left side to Taylor. Inside now to Die. Die with a turnaround hook shot inside the lane. That is good. And Princeton is back up by seven inside of six minutes. And Jim Justice wants a timeout. We'll take it with them. 5:54 to go in the ball game. Princeton has extended its lead over Greenbrier East, 41 to 34. We are back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Lady Spartan Basketball on Oldies 93. The stars may fall, the rains may pour, but I will love you evermore because you were born to chase the light. Since 1947, and for three generations, S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. to go in this fourth and final quarter. Greenbrier East trails it by seven. Quickly inbounding is Caden Stewart. To Pence out to Dufford, back up to Stewart, over to Brooke Davis now. Davis on the right side wing. Inside feed intended for Pence is knocked loose. Davis is able to save it, however. Davis still on the right wing. She dribbles into contact and is stripped by Reagan Southers. Southers, right wing pass, right side pass to Bogus. Bogus breaks the timeline on the right side wing. Dribbling to her left now is Bogus. Bogus between the circles, 527 and ticking in the ball game. Down to Aaliyah Taylor. Taylor from the right baseline. She misses the shot. Offensive rebound. Shot is up and won't go. But drawing the foul is Reagan Southers. She draws the foul from Allie Dumford and Southers will shoot two. Can't give those second and third chances, Timmy. Long miss. Green Brace just didn't get in position for the rebound. And Princeton's able to get a second chance. And really, you can make an argument that even more so than the turnovers, those second and third chances then what killed you because Princeton ends up making the shot on the, that second or third chance, pushing the lead and draining Clark as Southers misses her first shot. Second shot for Southers, that misses. Kareen's off the back iron. Rebound pulled in by Pence. But the ball stolen right back by Princeton's Lake and Die. Bounce pass over the left side, nearly stolen by Stewart, but maintaining control is Princeton. Down to Parrish. Parrish with a shot. Misses. Gets her in rebound on the right side. Gets another shot up. That misses again. It is out of bounds. It will be Lady Spartan ball at the 5.02 mark. Greenbrier East has 5.02 left in this fourth quarter. They trail by seven to Princeton. Inbounds passes tipped. Saved by Davis. Up the floor on the left side wing to Dumford. 
Dumford overhead pass down the left block to Pence into Dumford. Dumford going to post up, kick out to Patterson. Patterson with a three from the right. That misses. Rebound tipped by Pence, saved by Pence. Out to the left wing, here's Patterson. Over to Stewart, three balls up, three balls in. Green Bay's needed that one desperately, Timmy. Lady Spartans to within four with four and a half minutes to go. Top of the key, here is Southers. Cheryl Humes on the microphone there. In a steal, here's Davis. Davis is fouled in the bucket. Davis was hacked on the left block as she forced a shot up. She drew the foul from Princeton, Sadie Bogus. The shot fell, Brooke Davis, with an opportunity at the line to bring the Lady Spartans to within one. And something else to watch there, Timmy. 15 foul. So Greenberry could get some opportunities at the line down the stretch here. Brooke Davis needs this one. Big clutch situation here for the Lady Spartans. Shot for Davis is up and it rattles out. Princeton with the rebound. That's Stull. Stull up the floor to Bogus to Parrish. They had a two on one and they missed the shot. Saving the rebound is Dumford. Dumford is able to clear it out of trouble to Davis. Davis's pass is too long over the head of Layla Pence and they turn the ball over inside of four minutes to go. Spartans just have to settle down. They're trying to force things that aren't there. It's a two point game. Run the offense, take care of the basketball. One thing we do know, Timmy, the winner will get Woodrow is Woodrow's up 56 to 16 at the end of the third quarter against Oak Hill. There you go. Here's Bogus. Picks up a dribble on the right side. Top of the key, pass to Southers, back over to Bogus. Inside feet to Die. Die scores too easy from inside the lane. 43 to 39. Princeton on top. 16 points now for Die. Here's Dumford, far side left. Midcourt pass to Davis. Over to Stewart. Stewart with a three. That misses off the back iron. Rebound pulled in by Bogus of Princeton. Princeton in the backcourt. A foul committed by, I believe that's going to be Josie Patterson. Oh. That is indeed the case. That's her second team foul, number three. These coach justice, I agree completely with him. He's telling me we've got all the time in the world. They're pressing a little too much, trying to do things they don't need to do. Davis knocks a pass intended for Bogus loose. Bogus lost the ball out of bounds. It's Greenbrier East possession. 3.19 to go. They've got the ball in their own court cam. Patterson inbounds. Top of the key to Dumford. Dumford dribbles left. Looks at the basket. Pivots. Passes give and go from Patterson back to Dumford. Dumford scores. It's a two-point game. Three minutes to go. Southers at midcourt, she traveled with the ball. It ran right into Brooke Davis, couldn't keep her feet, and she traveled. She's going to be lucky if she doesn't get a technical here with the reaction, too. And Matt Smith wants to think about it. 3.02 to go in the ball game. Princeton's lead has been cut. It is 43-41. to We've got a game, folks. Stay right here with us. We're back in 60. You're listening to Lady Spartan Basketball in Oldies 93. From foundation to finish, S.J. Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber, your home solutions. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. The Lady Spartans have been down by as many as 10 in this second half. They have scratched, they have clawed, they have fought their way back into this one. They trail by two, 3.02 to go in the ballgame. It is Princeton 43, Greenbrier's 41. 
The Lady Spartans first at force a turnover here at midcourt. Josie Patterson to inbound to Allie Dumford. This is what postseason basketball is supposed to be look like, Timmy. Both teams playing for their season. Here's Caden Stewart with the ball top of the key. Stewart around a pick by Patterson. She's on the right side wing. She penetrates to the right. Reverse layup is too strong. Rebound pulled in by Princeton. Here's Stull on the near side left. Pivots. Passes to the right side to Connor. Up floor to Bogus. Bogus on the right wing. She pulls the ball out and will leisurely stroll between the circles. Coming out to meet her is Stewart as Bogus passes right to Connor down in the right corner to, excuse me, that was Stull. Stull right corner. And we've got three in the key on Lake and Dye. Green Brace, lucky there, Timmy, as they switched defenses mid-play, went from the 2-3 to the man-to-man. -man. And they did, a couple of girls didn't know who they had there for a second, but Princeton unable to take advantage of it and camped out in the lane. Here's Stewart in the backcourt. Pass on the far side left to Dumpert, back to midcourt to Stewart. Stewart breaks the timeline. Over to Davis on the right wing, up top to Dumpert. Dumpert with a three. She misses it short. Rebound pulled in by Stoll. Stoll. To Bogus up the floor to Die passes too strong for Die, and that will be Lady Spartan basketball. Excuse me, that was Parrish. That was Lauren Parrish, not Lake and Die. I apologize. Green Brace with the inbound pass to Dumford. Dumford just behind the timeline at midcourt. Back to Patterson over the timeline to the right wing to Davis. Cross-court pass to Dumford. Dumford penetrates from the left side, back out to Patterson. Patterson to Stewart. Stewart between the circles. She's guarded tightly by Bogus. Kicking right, shot is up, and the three is in for Brooke Davis at Greenbrier East takes the lead. With 1.33 to go in the fourth quarter, the Lady Spartans have come all the way back. They lead it 44 to 43. We're back in 30 seconds. This is Lady Spartan basketball on Oldies 93. From foundation to finish, S.J. Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber, your home solution. From foundation to finish, S.J. Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber, your home solution. <laughs> The Greenbrier East Lady Spartans are 13 and five on the regular season. And it all comes down to this minute and 33 seconds on this fourth quarter clock. You win, you've got two more, you lose, you play softball. And the Lady Spartans have clawed all the way back for the one point lead and they come away with a steal off the inbound. Here's Patterson to the left side, back to Pence. Pence is tied up in the left block. And the ball will stay with the Lady Spartans with 1.25 to go. Timmy, I listened to the huddle a little bit to Coach Justice. He made a great point. You got a minute 25, you only have three fouls. He said if they get the ball inside, do not let them have a shot inside the paint. You have fouls to give, give them. Davis to left corner, Stewart. Quick three is up and it is in. Caden Stewart puts the Lady Spartans up 47 to 43. Here's Princeton in transition. Bogus to die, die from the right elbow. She misses short. Rebound, Pence. Pence's pass is knocked loose. Stolen by Die. Top of the key to Connor. Back to Parrish. Up to Connor again. Over to Bogus. Three ball up, and it won't go. Offensive rebound. And with the foul on the floor, Parrish is fouled. And Coach Justice wants a timeout as Layla Pence picks up the foul. And we will take the timeout with Coach Jim Justice. 58 seconds to go in the ball game. Greenbrier East back on top, 47 to 43 over Princeton. We're back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Lady Spartan Basketball on Oldies 93.
When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Neathawk Lumber, your home solution. From foundation to finish, S.J. Neathawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Neathawk Lumber, your home solution. Nine. Four. Three. Two. One. Fifty-eight seconds left in the contest. Greenbrier East has pulled up 47 to 43 over Princeton. They trailed in this half by as many as 10. Inbound pass. Bang to die. Shot is blocked by Dumford. Right back into Dye's face. She gets her own rebound. Top of the key to Mullins. Over to Paris. Paris with a three, and that rattles out. Rebound, Davis. Ball is lost, out of bounds. Last touch by a Princeton Tiger. And Coach Justice is going to take a timeout. His final timeout with 44.6 seconds left on the clock. They lead Princeton 47 to 43. We will be back in 60 seconds with the conclusion of this one. This is Lady Spartan Basketball on Oldies 93. you were born to chase the light. Since 1947 and for three generations, S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. From foundation to finish, S.J. Needhawk is your home solution. Since 1947 and for three generations, our product line continues to expand and our staff is always ready to help. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber, your home solution. 15. Ball is inbound to Allie Dumford. Dumford fouled quickly. And that's just a 16 foul for Princeton, so Green Brace won't be shooting yet. That foul on Lake and Die. That's a 16 foul. That's Die's second. Greenbrier East was able to take three seconds off the clock. They've got a four-point lead. It's 47 to 43. Davis to inbound at the mid at midcourt. Pass into the left block to Patterson. Back up to Davis, and Davis is fouled. Nearly stripped, but fouled by Lauren Parrish, and that will put Brooke Davis to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. 37.8 seconds left in this one. Coach Justice smartly putting Stewart back on defense. Looks like Southers is going to check in for Mullins. Coach Justice reminded him they still have two fouls to give. Just four foul, team fouls for Greenbrier East. One and one here for Brooke Davis. And she makes the first. Boy, that was big. Brooke Davis has been huge here tonight, Timmy. So is Layla Pence. She did not want this to be her last game. Neither one, you're right. Second shot for Davis. In and out. Everyone back on defense. Here's Lake and Die with the rebound. Right side wing and Die. And we had a whisk, we had a stoppage. Oh man. Incidental whistle. The official thought that Matt Smith called a timeout. It was a fraudulent whistle, so that plays into Greenbrier East's favor, Cam. The yeah, Greenbrier East was about to foul there. Bogus. Her three is tipped. It's blocked by Davis. Pulled down. We get a tie up, it'll be Princeton it'll be basketball. Princeton ball off the tie up. Yeah, that's right. Southers to inbound. 27 seconds left. Up to Bogus. Bogus with a three. That is in and out. Ball's tipped. It's loose. It's on the floor. It is a tie up whistle. Well, Paris could very easily end this game with a technical the way she's acting right now. No whistle. It will be Lady Spartan ball. Paris being tended to by Coach Matt Smith. Smith pulls her out. Good move. Davis to Dumford. 
Dumford is fouled by Bogus with 19 and a half seconds left. And Bogus is getting in the face of Dumford. Visible frustration. And here we go. As yeah, they gotta get Dally Dumford out of there. Stewart got Dumford out of there. And we, we're, we're going to have a foul on Princeton Sadie Bogus. That's going to put Dumford to the line, shooting a one and one. And we're going to have a and another and a technical foul on Bogus. Offsetting technicals. Dumford and Bogus will ha each have a technical assess there. And that's the right move. But I, I, I got to tell you, Timmy. I don't know what was said down there, but you have to be smarter than that if you're Allie Dunford. Greenberry basically has this game won, and she was pointing a finger in the face of the Princeton player. That's an easy way to get a technical and get, and get Princeton right back into the game. So, so their offset, the technicals offset is that will be Dunford shooting a one and one. It's 48 to 43. Uh-huh. Excuse me, 22 grade. So we're going to shoot that one and one. But the other was a double technical. So Offset. Each other gotcha. Play from oh. So they'll just play live ball after this one and one right here because the technicals will offset each other. <laughs> we have now officially given the official explanation by each three different official. officials. Hey, they've done a great job tonight, honestly. Yeah. They've let him play. He's gotten aggressive and... You know, those in the double technicals was the right call. I mean, and really to be expected, this has been an extremely intense ball game. It has been. Yeah, it's the playoff basketball. That's what it's all about. No question. Dumford with the shot. That's a big make. It is 49 to 43. My goodness, what a run here. Yeah, what a basketball game. Second shot. That's in. And Allie Dumford puts this one on ice. It's a three possession game, 16 seconds left. Southers loses the handle, it's stolen by Pence. Pence is fouled. Pence will shoot a one and one now. Everyone get back, play the game, finish it out, keep your mouth shut, right? Exactly. And that is a 10 team foul, so it'll be two shots coming up for Lake. Yeah, you're right. Lake and die with the foul. First shot is in for Pence. Heck of a game from Layla Pence. Absolutely, Timmy. 12 points. Second shot. That misses off the back iron. That plays into the favor. Moves the clock early. Eight seconds left. And it's an eight-point game. Fouling at midcourt is Greenbrier East Brooke Davis. Still a foul to give, though. Yeah, that just makes Princeton use a little extra time. Smart move. So, Southers inbound to Taylor. Down to Southers. Her three is blocked from the right corner. Out of bounds. I believe that was Davis that got a hand on that. I think so. And it will be Princeton ball with two seconds left. Inbound to Die as time expires. And Greenbrier East will advance. They came back from the dead. They trailed by as many as 10 to come back and win by eight. Our final score in this sectional semifinal, Greenbrier East 51, Princeton 43. We'll be back after this to break it all down. You are tuned in live to the Cornerstone IGA post-game, post-season show on Oldies 93.
since 1947 and for three generations. S.J. Needhawk, your home solution. They went on a 19 to 6 run in that fourth quarter to finish with a final of 51 to 43. Overall, Greenbrier East improves to 14 and 5 on the season, but most importantly, they have earned a rematch with the Woodrow Wilson Lady Flying Eagles this Thursday night at this place. And perhaps more important than that, Greenbrier East, with all the talent deficiencies, all the question marks coming in, has ensured themselves a third straight trip to the regional championship will be a heartbeat away from that state tournament. Yeah, as Coach Justice told us in the pregame, you never know what can happen in that game. So the first, the most important thing is to win this one and get there. They've punched that ticket now, so no matter what happens at Woodrow, they'll have a shot at it, and who knows what happens in a, in a one-game shot. But, uh, yeah, what a great – you said that – the key word you said there, Timmy, was earned this victory. As Greenberry certainly earned it tonight as they uh, – Coach Justice told us in the pregame, when things get tight, when you're nervous, let your defense lead your offense, and that's exactly what Greenbrier East did. An unbelievable defensive effort to hold Princeton to six points in that final quarter, and a, a great job. And It took everybody tonight for Greenbrier East, and it took a ton of heart, and that's exactly what they showed, and uh, they're rewarded with it as their season continues. And Quite candidly, folks, I mean, Cam and I had the pleasure of describing the action as it unfolded tonight. But as I sit here now in the final analysis, I really don't know how the Lady Spartans pulled that out. I mean, uh, not disparaging by any means, but Princeton was sharp tonight. There's no question about it. Um, they were really physical. They moved the ball into the paint and it, it, extremely well into the paint. They scored the basketball. And, I mean, it was for the first three quarters, folks, outside of that opening 7-2 to two run, it was bowling shoe ugly out there if you are a Greenbrier East fan. And somehow, some way, and... Uh, Greenbrier East by hook or by crook was able to 
shut down Princeton when it mattered most in that fourth quarter and come away with a huge victory. And I'll say one more thing. You know, I asked the question back during the pregame, how different is tonight's team than the team four weeks ago that played this Princeton team? You go back, if that game would have been played four, four weeks ago, if Princeton would have been farther along, you know, than what they were, if tonight's Princeton would have played four weeks ago's Greenbrier East team, uh, Princeton would have run us out of the gym. So, uh, again, it goes back all season long. We talk about, we have talked about the exponential growth of these youngsters out here. Uh, tonight they took another giant step forward. Yeah, they absolutely did, Timmy. And I, I'm with you. I'm not exactly sure how they, how they did it. But uh, when you look down through the stats and, and I think back to some of the action, Brooke Davis, early in the season, we said, I don't understand how she's not making shots because the shots looked so good they weren't going in. Tonight, she's three for three from the three-point line, and, and all three of those were at huge moments in this basketball game. So give her a ton of credit there. Give Coach Justice a ton of credit, the way he manipulated things, put in some different lineup. Josie Patterson plays nearly 11 minutes tonight. She hasn't played that much most of the season, but she founds a way. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Neathawk Lumber, your home solution. Back here on the Cornerstone IGA postgame show, Timmy Gwynn and Cam Hufford along with you for the final time this evening. It is now time to name our Magic's Computer Repair Player of the Game. And Cam Huffman, I leave it to you, my friend. You got a tough choice tonight. Yeah, you're putting the pressure on me here, Timmy. There's a several ways you could go tonight, and I'm going back and forth as we were during that, during that break trying to make the decision. But I think I'm going to go with Brooke Davis. But before I talk about Brooke Davis, let's talk about the other way I could have gone, which was with Layla Pent, Layla Absolutely. Pence, who had a fantastic game tonight, 5 of 8 from the floor. She scored 12 points, had 11 rebounds, 4 steals, did a little bit of everything for Green Brace tonight and played at 32 minutes. So a great game from Layla Pence, probably her best of the season. But that 3-for-3 three three mark from three-point range when Green Brace desperately needed them, pushes it over the edge for me for Brooke Davis, and Brooke finishes also with a double, 12 points, 10 re rebounds, two block shots, and five steals. So an inspired effort from Brooke Davis as well, and she's our Magic's Computer Repair, repair Player of the Game. 
And so, Cam, before you take a final look at tonight's stats, that leads us to what is next on the docket now for the Lady Spartans, which, hey, you know, as that fourth quarter was underway, I figured that uh, tonight it was it, going to be it for the season, uh, no question about it. So to uh, have this discussion now feels pretty daggone good, but now you've got Woodrow Wilson uh, staring you right in the teeth this coming Thursday, and you've got to go to their place. Always a tough place to play, and uh, Beckley prevailed. Um, at, you know, ended up uh, the scoreboard was not really, you know, a true representative of how that game really was competitive. Woodrow won 66 to 47 back on March or back on April the 5th, excuse me. But throughout the first three quarters of that game, Greenbrier East was right in it, and it was just a matter of making shots. And so you you t dial that back in tonight. What does a game like tonight do for you as you go into Thursday night's game? Well, you know, I think several things, Timmy. Not only does the confidence you earn from tonight when you're down, you fight, you show, you know, grit and, and no quit. And, and as you said, too, the, the, the performance over at Beckley does a lot for you, too, is, you know, you lost the game, but as you said, you're right in it. And I, I think they, we said when we left the game that Green Brace took confidence out of that game, and I think they will. I, I think maybe they, they made that trip to Beckley the first time thinking maybe – praying they could find a way to win, but this time they'll make that trip to Beckley maybe believing they can compete. So that's the big difference. And, Timmy, for us it means one more trip to Yummy Japan, and I think I think that might have been key to Brooke Davis's effort tonight because before you did, the you game did tell I told her, her yeah. we need one more trip to Yummy Japan. I think she probably had it in my, that in mind when she was out there knocking down those big threes. We will get it, no question about it, this Thursday night. Before we sign off, Cam, um, anything else stand out to you as you take a final look at our stats? Well, uh, several things, Timmy. I think that you, we, we both asked the question, how did they do it? I think a big number was Greenbury shot 41% from the field in the second half. They were 21% in the opening half, so they shot the ball much better the second half. You know, we talked about Brooke Davis knocking down those shots. They found some shots inside, including Layla Pence. A little bit of everything. As I said, it was a complete team effort. Allie Dumford made some big plays down the stretch as well. So um, they shot the ball decently at the foul line, at least in the second half. They were 8 of 16. So a, a lot of things went well. And Greenbury was out-rebounded 43 to 50, but at times that margin was a little worse. So they did a better job on the boards. They were able to, to shut down that margin a little bit and make it a little closer. And uh, just uh, I, there's no, no other way to say it, Timmy. Just complete heart and grit from this team and uh, never say die attitude. And I'll tell you what, uh, hats off to Matt Smith's Princeton team as well. Uh, heartbreaking way to end their season. They were in the driver's seat for very much of this game and, uh, you know, happy the way things did shake out. But credit to Princeton because uh, Matt Smith had a much improved ball club from what we've seen in previous years. Yeah, no doubt about it. And um, Lauren Parrish finishes with 12 points. They had three players in double figures. Lauren Parrish with 12, Lake and Die with 14, and Sadie Bogus with 12, 10 rebounds for Maddie Stoll. So Princeton did a lot of things well, but uh, Green Bar East just made the plays they needed down the stretch. They sure did, and they will play again for the sectional championship against Woodrow Wilson this Thursday night. You, uh, the game will commence at 7 p.m. You can catch us, Timmy, uh, Cam Huffman and I, on the, I almost called myself by my own name. <laughs> Cam Huffman and I will join you with the Fritz's Pharmacy Spartan Countdown at approximately 6.45, game time set for 7 p.m., game action emanating from Woodrow Wilson High School. The Woodrow a 75-23 winner tonight over Oak Hill, so big performance from Woodrow. They'll come in with some confidence as well. We climbed one mountain tonight. We'll do it again this Thursday night, and we hope you all will join us again this Thursday evening. Action beginning at 6.45, the Fritz's Pharmacy Spartan Countdown on Oldies 93. That'll do it. Greenbrier East prevails 51-43 to over the Princeton Tigers. For Ralph Poncho Church and Cam Huffman and all of us at Radio Greenbrier Sports, this is Timmy Gwynn saying good night from Fairley. you were born to chase the light since 1947 and for three generations sj needhawk your home